Um, hopefully, you can see me. Cool. Okay, it says it's live. Never know with Facebook. All right. Yay. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Dawn Phoenix here. Um, going live to do a little workshop with you guys. And I'm just going to scroll up. Okay, so I can see myself. So I'm Dawn Phoenix. Hello. I'm one of the authors of Creativity Is Whatever You Want It To Be. And I am also a transformational healer. I do a couple of different modalities in my practice, and one of the things that I do is hypnotherapy. I'm a certified clinical hypnotherapist. And let's see, I'm just getting these little notices from Facebook about things that I need to do about video, but I'm just going to ignore them and keep trucking. Um, hi, Hollis. <laughs> so one of the things that I do in my practice is hypnotherapy. and. I was saying I am a certified clinical hypnotherapist. That also means I learned through my hypnotherapy school something called neuro-linguistic programming. And that's just fancy talk for using language to help you program your brain. And one of the things that I'm gonna share with you today that I do in my practice with people is a something called timeline therapy. The difference between a true hypnotherapy session and neuro-linguistic programming, which is what I'm gonna do here with you guys today, is that you don't have to be in a hypnotic state for the neuro-linguistic programming to work. So you can just be sitting there sort of quietly in a meditative state and it still works. That's the big difference. So it's kind of more of a bit of a meditation and you're not in a hypno, um, hypnotic trance. So what i do is i'm just going to have you guys sit quietly and listen as i go through this sort of guided meditation what the meditation is going to entail is letting you choose a goal or a choice that you need to make in your personal life or in your work situation in your job if you have one that you work for someone else in your own business if you're a business owner which many of us are so what I'm going to do is give you an, an opportunity to go one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, just down this path in your mind of what your life could possibly be like if you made that choice or made that decision or reached that goal that you want to have in your work life or in your personal life. So that's what we're going to do today. And all that's required of you is to be somewhere, whether you're listening to the replay or you're here live, just be somewhere where you can sit comfortably and just close your eyes and just tune in. We'll probably go about 20 minutes, a half hour. Um, it doesn't take long at all. That's the neat thing about this. So usually my sessions are an hour long, so this is a lot shorter. So after the end of it, I'm just gonna bring you, you know, back sort of into your more waking and alert state and um, talk about the offer that I have um, created for everybody who's here on our wonderful Creativity Is Summit. So I'll give you a minute to just orient yourselves and find a comfortable spot to just sit quietly. And you can even just listen to this if you can't be in a space where you can sit and you know in a meditative little quiet state, you can still just listen, you know, right now if you're live and then you can, you know, do this on the replay. So this is uh, again, this is a neuro linguistic programming technique and it's called timeline therapy. In my practice, I do it in person and we actually have the person up and walking their timeline like they walk on the, the ground, <laughs> they walk a timeline, but here we can't do that. So we're just gonna do it virtually. So I'll just be quiet a moment and just let you get settled in. Go ahead and close your eyes. And just to center and ground yourself, it's kind of like if you were doing a meditation, just go ahead and just take a couple nice, slow, deep breaths. 
bringing yourself into the moment and relaxing, just arriving in your body and in this moment. And just say, have some nice deep breaths. So, I'd like you to just maybe explore the possibility that there are a myriad of possible futures ahead for you. And which one of these futures occurs depends largely on the choices and the commitments that you make in present time. And if I ask a question, guys, you don't have to answer out loud. <laughs> I mean, I can't hear you, so if you do, that's great. So the question I'm going to ask you is, does this seem reasonable to you, that your future depends on the choices you make now? And if it does, you know, just go ahead and, mm -hmm, yes. So then I'm just going to ask you, and again, you can just say yes out loud wherever you are. So would it be all right if we were to explore the possible future of what would happen if you were to make a commitment to your healing in whatever particular area you needed in? or to make a choice, or to set a goal. So if that would be okay, just go ahead and say yes. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now that we've created this set of permissions you've given, is imagine that you are standing on a timeline and it's stretched out in front of you. The past is stretched out behind you. And the future is completely open wide in front of you. And where you are standing is the present. And then as your eyes are closed and you're seeing your future stretched out before you and your past lying behind you and you're anchored in the moment right now in your present, imagine that you could float above the timeline and as you're floating above it, you're seeing that timeline as a straight line and you're seeing yourself. So it's kind of like you're looking down at yourself and you're floating above your body. So you're seeing yourself standing on the line in the present with the past behind you and the future in front of you. And now what I'd like you to do is just float down into your body and come into present time with your eyes remaining closed. So you are now in the present on your timeline. And in this present moment on your timeline, are you willing to make a commitment to healing or growth or reaching a goal in whatever area it is that you want to work on? your personal life, your work life. And if you agree to that, then just say yes.
and hopefully you have so good and then please silently make that commitment to yourself now that you're committed to healing or growth in that area that you've chosen And then once you do that, I'd like you to maybe consider what your life is going to be like in the next year as a result of you making this commitment. What would be the possibilities in the areas of your relationships or your work? and your lifestyle if you were to learn and grow as a result of the work you do on yourself for a year. And now I'd like you to imagine that you take one step forward and that step will take you one year from now to November of 2022. You are moving through time in this step to one year from today. And now I want you to see in front of you what your life is like. And then experience that just for a moment. What your life is like one year from now that you've made that commitment to change and grow and learn for one year. And then also looking back, you can see what were the things that you did that really made a difference in your life over that year. So go ahead and look back to see what you did that made a difference. I'll give you a moment to do that. So I'd like you to just know that there's one thing about inner work. When you are consistent with the work, the results are cumulative. So consider for a moment the possibilities for your life. If you were to continue your commitment to your healing, make choices that moved you to greater understanding, love, and compassion for yourself and others for another whole year. Consider how much you would have learned and grown in that year. So the next step you take will be one year from November, if you're watching this in November of 2022, it's going to be one year from then. So now we're going to move ahead to November of 2023. Take that step now. Imagine that you're taking that step forward on the timeline and look around and 
see and experience who you are now and what your life is like, what it looks like, what it feels like to you. What's changed in the past year? I'll just give you a moment to experience that. And then in looking back in the last year, what is it that you did that really made a difference? And just experience what that might have been. Take note of it. So what, as you're here in this next year of the 2023, just notice the emotions that are coming up right now. And I'd like you to really set the intention to embody and get this learning you're experiencing right now at a deep, deep level within yourself so that you couldn't forget it, even if you tried. And know that your unconscious mind is soaking this up at deeper and deeper levels. Just really take that in for a moment. And then I'd like you to imagine that you're going to take another step on the timeline. And this time, the step is going to be five years in the future. So now you're going to be in November of 2000. 28 and really look around again the way we've done before and take note of what your life is like now that you are continuing that commitment to your healing and making the choices that move you to greater understanding and love and compassion for yourself and others. And really take in and consider in this five year span, just how much you have learned and how much you have grown. I'm just gonna give you a moment to do that. And then also what I'd like you to do is look back as we've done before. And over that past five years, what did you do 
that really made a difference in your growth and in your learning. I'm going to give you a moment to just experience that and take note of it. And just pay attention to any emotions that are coming up right now. And again, really take in this learning and this growth you've experienced over these five years. And take them in on a deep, deep level so that you can't forget even if you tried and to know that your unconscious mind is really soaking this up on deeper and deeper levels. I'll just give you a few moments to do that. So now what I'd like you to do is see yourself on that timeline. And I'd like you to take one more step forward and that step will take you 10 years ahead. So you'll go from 2028 to 2038. And just take stock now of what your life is like. what you see before you, how you feel, what you're experiencing. And Consider for a moment what you see before you as the possibilities for your life. If you were to continue over these years making that commitment to your healing, making the choices that moved you to greater understanding and love, and compassion for yourself and for others. And just consider in that 10 years how much you have learned and grown. And then also what I'd like you to do is look back on the timeline down that period of 10 years and see if there's anything that jumps out at you that you did that really made a difference in your life. I'll just give you a moment to do that. And then the next step 
you take will be into a time period of your choosing. It will be to the place on your timeline where you are your older, wiser self. So in this step, you will step through a ball of white light and you will become what it's like to be your older, wiser self. See and feel and hear what your life is like now. I'll just give you a moment to experience what that's like. And what I'd like you to do is really and truly fully embody that sense of yourself. In looking at your life, what would you say was the most developed resource you have now as this older, wiser self? And if you could imagine that this one resource that you have is a magic dust. And what I'd like you to do is take that resource as the magic dust and move back down your timeline so imagine that you're walking back down your timeline and you are sprinkling every moment on your timeline with that magic dust, this resource that you are bringing all the way down your timeline, back down, into the present time. And now what I'd like you to do is as your higher self who has walked down your timeline sprinkling that magic dust, that resource, you now arrive at the present time and you can speak with the present time self there on the timeline. So just imagine what that conversation might be like, any wisdom or advice that your future self would give to your present self. So I'll just give you a moment to have that conversation.
and maybe after you have that conversation, imagine that as your older, wiser self standing before your present time self. You step together. Your older, wiser self steps into your present time self. And now you are embodying your present time self and also your older, wiser self who has been through that entire possible future and sprinkled that magic dust of that one resource, your most strong resource, all the way down your timeline to your now present moment. And so what you've experienced as you look out over this timeline and seeing it sparkle now with that magic dust of that one amazing resource that you've gathered is you've been able to go over just about the course of your entire life however far ahead you wanted to go and experience what it would be like for you to make one particular decision or choice before you actually have to do it in real life so what that does is that makes it easier for you to be able to bring that into being now in real life in your waking you know hours because your brain has already experienced success and so it makes it that much more easy for your mind to be able to experience that and bring it into being now for you so that was the little exercise that i wanted to do with you all as a uh, my little workshop here. So that's a, it's called Neuro Linguistic Programming and you can go ahead and open your eyes now. Welcome back. <laughs> that's called Neuro Linguistic Programming and the specific technique is called Timeline Therapy. And if you were in my office with me or if I were live with you, I would actually be holding you at your back and um, at your front and we would have you take one step each time you were to go down the timeline so that you would anchor that, we call that spatial anchoring, you would anchor that into your body. Don't try that at home <laughs> with your eyes closed. Don't do that. Sitting is fine. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I wanted to also share with you before I and our session for tonight. And also, if anybody has any questions, thank you, Hollis. Hollis says, that was amazing. I love this. This is one of my most favorite techniques. It's so powerful and it's so widely usable. It has so many different variations and what you can do with it. Um, so I'm so glad, you know, Hollis, yay, that you enjoyed that. And I do apologize. I, I know that we're having connection issues. I think it's my internet having low connectivity and I'm not sure why that is. So I do apologize, guys, and hopefully on the playback, it won't be too disruptive. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my offer. So I, I have my website and I'm gonna put all of this information down below. Um, so you'll have links and, and all that good stuff. So my website, it's dawnphoenix.net. I'll put that down there and I'll put a link to the offer that is, it's a five month program. It's called the Phoenix Fire Transformation Program. I channel a set of beings called the Phoenix Collective and they downloaded this program to me. It's a five-step program. Each step is one session, and each session takes place once a month. So it would be a five-month long process. And they, they start out, it's a guided meditation basically. So a lot of like what I did here with you tonight, but you would definitely want to be lying down because you go pretty deep into the experience. 
and they bring you through an initial clearing. And I'm going to put a PDF up of, of this so you can see and read all of the information on it. But the first step that we would do is an initial clearing where they just go in and they help you clear out your energy system of anything that doesn't serve you. Because the whole the whole point of this process is to help you create something and bring into your reality something that hasn't existed before for you that you'd really like to have. So they go in and they do an initial clearing and that's the first session. And that they give a month for the energies because they're so potent to really take hold and integrate into your life. And you would even start seeing changes at that point within that first month might see things fall away that don't serve you. You just might feel a little bit different, experience life differently because you've had that purification. Fire is purification and they're purifying your field. So then the second month, what they would do is what they call the secondary clearing. And they'll go in because over that month, now that you've gotten the first layer of gunk, if you will, if you think of sweeping leaves off of a drain, now it's open, other stuff can come up. So they're very thorough, they're precise, and they're thorough, the Phoenix Collective. So they do a secondary clearing. And then we have a month that goes by and I will have support, you know, Zoom calls where we can check in once a week um, and just check in with each other, see how you're doing throughout the process. So that, that would be your second month. Then the third month, that session, is where they introduce you to the space of infinite potential. And this looks like a nebula almost. It's a beautiful place where you're inside of like a 3D kind of nebula and they bring you there to experience the energy and to be saturated with the energy of infinite potential. And it's really super beautiful. And they like to tell us that we already embody infinite potential within us. But being the humans that we are, they also recognize that we most often need to see something outside of ourselves to experience it and believe it, rather than just to take it on word, on faith that it's within us. So they bring us into this space so that we can experience outside of ourselves the power that actually lies within us. So we get to go there and just experience what that's like. You get to create. It's kind of like playing with Play-Doh, but it's so much better. So that's the third month. The fourth month, so that month goes by and we have the integration period and the check-ins every week. Then the fourth month, they actually have you bring into your being that energy, that space of infinite potential. And it lies within you anyway, but as humans, it's important for us to actually go through the process of doing it so that we, our conscious and subconscious mind has recorded that it's happened so we know that it's truth. So we just bring that into ourselves and we get to feel what it's like to have that energy, that space of infinite potential within our own beingness. So then instead of having to go to a place to create, with that potential, that infinite potential energy, we have it right within us, as we always have. But we get to experience what it's like to bring it into ourselves, and it's super powerful. That's really an amazing experience. So then we have the month go by, the integration time, because things will really be shifting in your life at this point. You are shifting. You are changing. You are purified. You are being reborn. This is the part in the Phoenix uh, process, if you will, where you've gone through the fire and this is where you rise from the ashes or whatever you want to create is rising from the ashes that it's been purified from. And the fifth month, the last one, is where in that session they actually walk you through you creating something similar to what we did here today. You creating something you want to change in your life. You create that right then and there in that session with them using that space of infinite potential that resides within you. And they'll walk you through that process. And then you'll have that month of integration time where we'll check in weekly on our Zoom calls. So I'm gonna put the, um, there's a PDF and I'll put a link down there for that 
for you guys to check out. And that's my offer for everybody here on our awesome summit at our creativity is whatever you want it to be summit. So that said, I think I'm pretty much done right now. Again, my name is Dawn Phoenix. I'm a transformational healer. And today we walked through experiencing a choice or a goal that, you know, you maybe wanted to set or experience, you know, throughout your life with some timeline therapy. So if anyone has any questions or comments, you can pop them up and uh, I'll take a look at any time and look down below. I'll, I'll place those links there. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening or rest of the day, wherever you are. I'm sending you many blessings, love and light. All right, take care.